We're out at the school near our house today uh, with the goal of getting the drone up so you can see uh, the truck now with the topper on it uh, versus before uh, when we didn't have a topper on it. So the first time we did this, it was right after we bought the truck. We're about 2,000 miles now and we ordered the ARE Overland topper about four weeks ago. It was installed on Monday, so I've gotten a week with it on uh, driving to and from work. Uh, but we'll go through some of the features that we purchased and we'll talk about some of the other features that are available with the ARE Overland Topper that we chose not to get for our purpose. The first thing when we're looking at the, the topper is the uh, rear window and this is your kind of entry exit. Um, so the the base ARE toppers come with a single lock here in the middle with a, a pole or post that runs end to end to keep the the door locked in our case we did the dual lock uh, so one on each side and that eliminates that pole that goes back and forth where we understand there's quite a bit of damage that happens there and they can stop functioning so we did these two um, it locks on both sides and essentially you just open those two up and lift and you get your opening. Uh, so we'll go through some of the options we picked out. We bought ours from Suburban Topper in Denver, Colorado. They're off of Colfax near Monaco. So the first thing you'll actually notice, and you can probably see it right now, is that there's a carpeted headliner in here. So no, number one, that's an option. Uh, but number two, it's an option we don't have to pay for because we bought it from Suburban Toppers. That's just included uh, with their sale because they're a high volume dealer and it's, and it's included in their, in their normal sale. The next thing we'll talk about is integrated into that headliner is we put in a single light, a single uh, light strip. So you can see it down the middle right now. And then I'm gonna hop up. I can't reach it from right here cause I'm short and turn it on. So now you can see that light strip. And I'll show you some photos when it's darker out uh, or video when it's darker out. So you can see kind of exactly what it does inside the, the bed here. Because the other part of this is we do have the bed lights. Um, and those bed lights do pretty good, but once you start putting things in here, it'll be harder to see with those what's in here just by those bed lights because they're so low. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab the camera for two seconds because also there is a light back here. I'm gonna turn these both off because they both run off battery power and I don't feel like having a dead battery even though I have my, my little jump battery here. So we talked about the headliner, we've talked about the, the light strip. Uh, the next thing is on the install at Suburban Topper. Uh, they do a wiring harness to integrate the lights uh, with the truck. So into the brake lights, as well as uh, integrate this into the battery. The good news there is they do a harness and that makes it easy to, to take it off if you ever need to. A lot of people will just tie it in and, and wire them or uh, put electrical tape around them. And that makes it harder to get on and off cleanly. So it's kind of nice that they do it that way. Uh, the windows are a little dusty right now, um, but that's because we're not allowed to wash it yet. Uh, we were asked to give it like three weeks. We can kind of use a, um, a hose, but don't want to run it through a car wash or anything like that. Uh, we decided not to upgrade the windows. Uh, we went with a sliding window, so it slides from the inside, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, but the reason we didn't do the upgraded window, which you can open from the outside and kind of lift up is, if you'll notice, I'm five foot eight. The bed is here, the window is here. I would never be able to reach anything really inside this anyway. For our use case, it didn't make a lot of sense to have the outside uh, opening because we wouldn't be able to reach anything anyway because I'm the taller of the two of us. Hey. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I definitely wouldn't be able to reach really anything. So again, we went with the sliding windows. Um, so 
It's just a little latch here and then slides open. It's got the screen. Um, I don't really plan on putting the dogs back here, but I guess if you did have the dogs back here, the screen will help to, to keep them in, give them vent. And then the other option that we did is two things. So we have the slide here, um, which is behind our sliding window, which is kind of nice because now we can use our window a little bit, I guess. Uh, this one is not automatic, but it is reachable from inside and out. So I can, inside my truck, open my rear window and then open this up. Um, but the second thing is that there's two little clips here, one on this side and one on this side. And that will let you tilt this down. So this is on a hinge on the back. And the benefit of that is that you can clean the windows in between. That was a recommendation from Suburban Topper because people don't think about it that you won't have access there anymore. So it's really easy, two clips again, and then pull it down and then lock it back in place when you're, when you're done. What you're looking at, those are actually for the, the roof rack mount on top of the, the topper. Um, so at this point, I'll probably show the video of us doing the flyover so you can see them. Uh, but we wanted that because we do have bikes and we want to be able to carry those with us. So we'll use that as the bike rack uh, once we get to that point. So we have the two rails for, you can use Yakima, Thule. Um, my understanding was from Suburban, they actually have one that is uh, Rocky Mount as one. Um, but that goes into the channel and then you have your roof rack. A couple of, of quick other options that, that are there. A is the paint match. We did the paint match to match our antimatter blue. And honestly, they are nearly identical. Um, I can't really tell the difference. Uh, the second thing is here, the on, standard on the Overland is the bed liner type material and it's done anywhere that there's kind of the connection to the vehicle. So you'll see it up against the cab here and across the bed. There aren't a lot of options we didn't cover throughout the course of the video. Uh, these are the side windows and what they look like being able to open from the outside. So you can see that there's an option for an aluminum panel versus glass. Um, and then the other option that we didn't really touch on was a second LED light strip, which then they move them to the side versus the top. Uh, which can also be controlled by a switch for when you open the hatch, which would be sort of nice, but not super imperative to being able to use it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you pick out your topper.